This is a lecture by Farol Golemi, narrated by Ungit Buttar. This is the second of two lectures on root cause analysis. Because these calculations are tedious, investigative teams can use widely available software, such as Netica, to simplify the calculations. Using these estimates, we can calculate the probability of wrong side surgeries when no information about any cause are present as 0.07. See figure 6 for an example analysis using Netica software available through Norsys. To create a network, click on File, then New Network. To add nodes, click on the shape shown and click into the white spaces as shown. To add arcs, click on the arrow shown and then proceed to click on Start and click on End. To add descriptions, double click on a node and then enter a description with no spaces. To add marginal probabilities, double click on the node. Next, select the table. Then, enter a hundred times marginal, marginal probability. Click for the missing probabilities button for the system to calculate one minus the marginal probability. Enter marginal probability of poor training as 12, standing for 12%. Clicking on the icon shown will recalculate the remaining probabilities. To add conditional probabilities, double click on the node, select the table, enter 100 times probability of effect given the cause. Enter data for each condition. When conditions change, probabilities cannot be calculated from previous data. Select the button for calculating remaining probabilities. When entering probability of not following markings given poor or good training, click on the icon shown by the arrow. This table shows conditional probabilities for all combined direct causes. The first column shows whether or not the patient provided wrong information. The second column asks if the surgeon did not follow markings. The third column asks if the nurse marked the wrong patient. And the fourth column shows the probability of wrong side surgery given the conditions. To compile the graph, click on this icon. The causal model behind the root cause analysis can be used to predict the probability of the sentinel event, and this probability can be compared to the intuitions of the investigative team. The probability of the sentinel event can be calculated from each of the direct causes, and the probability of each direct cause can be calculated from their root causes. Using these estimates, we can calculate the probability of wrong side surgeries when no information about any cause are present as 0.07. Does this seem reasonable to the investigative team? If the probability is higher by an order of magnitude from what the investigative team expected, then perhaps important constraints that prevent wrong side surgeries have been left out of the analysis. If it is too low by an order of magnitude, then an important cause or mechanism by which wrong side surgeries occur might have been missed. If it is in the ballpark, but not exactly what we expected, then perhaps the estimated probabilities might be wrong. In any case, when there is no correspondence between the probability of the sentinel event and the investigative team's intuition, it is time to rethink the analysis and its parameters. In this slide, you see what we are predicting, the sentinel event, with three observed causes, pro providing wrong information, poor training, and nurse fatigue. Here, we are predicting the prevalence of a fatigued nurse if the patient is marked wrong. 
Here, we are selecting the most likely cause of the sentinel event. Estimating the probabilities can verify if assumptions are reasonable, conclusions fit observed frequencies, and help select most likely cause. JACO reports some conditional probabilities. Experts estimate are accurate if brief training in conditional probabilities provided with available objective data allowed to discuss their different estimates. The take-home lesson, question the obvious, examine your root cause assumptions and predictions. Please use the course website to ask a question and rate this lecture.